afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Atlanta Braves and the Colorado Rockies. The Rockies have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Kyle Freeland is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Former first round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff, but I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go to pitch. But you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate competitor, one of the top young left handed pitchers in the game right now. Ready now, Ozzy Albies. He will lead this one off today. Fly ball heading for the alley. On the run is Tapia. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Leadoff hitter, and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a leadoff double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position. One batter into the game. Nick Markakis digging in now, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. A ball and two strikes. Freeland has registered just under 110 innings on the mound. Dan Sports and ERA right around the major league average at just over four. Ready on one and two. Pitch is popped up. Story is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Batting third. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. This guy's just what you're looking for if you're looking for one of your corner spots to have some power. Not only glove work on one of the corner positions, but lots of thunder in that bat. Albies, the runner at second with one away. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring in games when Carl's behind the dish. Their count now at two and two. hit hard towards center that's in there base hit and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score Dan they didn't come out offensively like gangbusters yesterday they had a few runs but today they're able to push one across early and this is you always want to try to strike first I think if you look at the stats teams that score first win a big majority of the time so they're off to a flying start in this one Into the box, Ronald Acuna. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. These Rockies guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. His prior history versus this arm, he's one for three.
ready on three and one. Here it comes. Three balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The next to bat for Atlanta, Travis Darno. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. The 1 1. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Two down runners at first and second. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now he set the 2 2 swing and a line drive but just foul here's the 2 and 2 hot shot on the ground is short Scorey picks it up throw to first in time and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired Braves will settle for just the one we'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one it's the Braves one and the Rockies nothing Felix Hernandez starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series Dan Plezak what's the word on him Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he drops it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Runner at first following the error. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Daniel Murphy. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Batting third. The third baseman. Nolan. So stepping in, Nolan Arenado. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First and second here with nobody out. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Ready with the two and two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman, and he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. This guy's had a super season so far, and we're well into the baseball season, so this isn't a fluke. He's been swinging the bat great all year. Here now the 2-2. Hit back up the middle. Over to Albies. On to first, and it's a double play, though that first run of the ball game is across to score. 
A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. In now for Colorado, David Dahl. He currently sits seventh in the National League and runs batted in, so a good guy to have at the plate in this situation. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are surprised by that. Listen, it's still early. I'm not saying he won't keep this up, but things tend to even out as the season goes along. Here's the 1-1. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Well, the beat goes on with this guy, runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up, he's thinking RBI. What does he do? Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money, money run producer. Digging in, Trevor Story entering play. He's ranked number six in the National League RBI race and with a chance to add to that total here. Yeah, and he's right up there in the top five in slugging as well. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The throw into second. On to second, but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. In now, Garrett Hampson. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. One brave error and a runner left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. Rockies lead this one three to one. Second inning set to go. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Toppy is in pursuit. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting it. The shortstop. Dan B. Swanson. Into the box now. Dansby Swanson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1 home. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Tapia is there. Two gone. Batting gone. So the here now is the pitcher, Felix Hernandez, Hernandez. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Braves. Score holds. It's 3-1. to one. Digging in now, Dom Nunez. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Now the 2-1. Hit hard to short. Swanson brings it in. And there's one away. 
batting ninth. The pitcher, Kyle Freeland. So the base is empty here with one away. Up next, the Denver area native pitcher, Kyle Freeland. One out, nobody on. Rockies pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball the all around the strike zone. Well, and then what do you do? You come in. Ball. That's a hard pitch for Don't any hitter off. to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. To the plate now, Rymel Tapia. To one and two now. Hernandez is ready. Here's the pitch. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. Marquecas has a read on it, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for Colorado, as the lead remains three to one. Ready for another chance? Ozzy Albies. He doubled to kick off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Now here's the pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The right fielder. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third inning here. 3 to 1 our score. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dahl's in pursuit. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The first baseman, number five. So coming Freddie. to the plate, Freddie Freeman looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two out, nobody on. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Squared that one up just a little late. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line and left. Dahl's in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Man, that swing looked like a self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. This is line to left, and that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Throw into second. The tag, and he's out going for second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Braves pick up a run on the RBI double. We play two and a half. It's the Rockies three and the Braves two. As the Rockies ready to bat in the third inning and as they do it's a good time to discuss their offense which has been a real source of pride for this club they enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored so it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production talking with some of the coaches earlier they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club 
but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success, and they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. Thank you, Heidi. Down the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. This will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here, and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys, and, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. The third baseman. So striding in, Nolan Arenado reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. So that already their third double of the ball game. And this is a team that can indeed hit him in bunches as we show you the league leaders in two base hits. And you can see, in fact, that these guys currently lead the National League in that category and, in fact, lead all of baseball as well. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. won't get him to chase this one it's a full count now three and two well that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him but it really hasn't been effective so far it just looks kind of flat third inning already a three two ball game he loses him on ball four I'm sure the manager is fine with that he tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Trying to pick things up where he left off, David Dahl. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Standing in now, Trevor Story. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson, runner in scoring position with Sugan. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Hernandez comes set, 1 2 on its way. And look like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. Men on third with two down.
Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing and a ball hit pretty well down that left field line. This has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Home run number five on the year. And the lead is now seven to two. Hey, every once in a while, this speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description. But he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Ladies Paul Hamels is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third now, inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Cole Hamill. At the plate now, Dom Nunez. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having the lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. Four runs here in this half inning. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On now to the top of inning number four. The Rockies are out in front, seven to two. Striding into the box, Marcelo Zuna. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now back. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Lifted in the air to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. And that's the second out of the inning. Now battle. Stepping in for the Braves, Johan Camargo. He flew out in his last at bat. The 1 1. Soft liner to the left side. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. Braves are set down 1 2 3. They're down 5. It's 7 to 2. Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate, Rymel Tapia. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, 
you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Rymel Tapia becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Now the one and one pitch. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Albies picks it up. Throw on to first. And Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Hits are even right now at five aside. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the second deck and gone. Nolan Arenado touches them all and even 30 home runs on the year as it's now a six run ball game. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in this series. I'm not sure what more they need to see but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rocky strike for one on the homer by Arenado. We're through four, and this is now an eight to two ball game. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2. But now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. I can't lose, wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Count still full, 3 and 2. Another full count pitch home. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason now to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many oh. of his secondary pitches yeah. so far in this one and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Ender Inciarte is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher Hamels. Number 11. Ender Inciarte.
easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Full count to Ender Inciarte, three balls and two strikes. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. The batter number one. Second base. He almost oh, got him to commit there as oh, we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. The 3-2 pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. The 1-1. One, one. At the ball has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Marquez is ahead with a three and one count here. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's popped up. Coming in is Dahl. And this will land foul. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Blackman's after it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Down the left field line and deep. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first is going to be in time and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. A couple of walks but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Mark Melanson gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, David Dahl. Three and one, here it is. On the ground to the right side. And there's one down now. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1 1 home. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. And that's what speed does for you. He made the play, but in the back of his mind, he knew he was dealing with the speedster, so he rushed the throw, and he had more time than he thought, too.
Riding in once again, Garrett Hampson. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Now the 2 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. On the ground to second base, this could be two. A tag for one. Relay to Freddie, double play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. We're through five here at the ballpark. Rockies lead it eight to two. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. The payoff pitch home. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Stepping in now, Marcelo Zuna hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Blackman. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And he's safe. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just one out into the sixth inning, but he'll leave with the lead and was effective in this one. Jairo Diaz is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. For the Rockies, number 37, Jairo Diaz. Travis Darno will be his first assignment, and he's got a tough spot here with the runner at third and only one gone. Now the one and one pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. On the run is Tapia. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Up next for Atlanta. The third base. Digging in to Johan. try it again. Johan Camargo. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Both teams with six hits so far. Yeah. A ball and two strikes now. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with a lefty and a right hander up to throw. Hit back toward the mound. Story brings it in. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Rockies eight and the Braves three. Ready for another shot now. Dom Nunez. It was a walk in his last trip. Strike taken. Good pitch on the lower part of the zone. Oh. 
boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter the darting in on the 37. hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective yeah. pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Your Brendan Rodgers will get the call here Good as he'll hit the for the pitcher. Number seven, Brendan Rodgers. That one catches the edge of the zone called a strike. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. So that's his first home run in the big leagues. And it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in. And he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Into the box, Rymel Tapia. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Daniel Murphy will be next. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground to third. Camargo's got it. Throw gets him, two down. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. But the Rockies add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo dinger. 8 9 and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's the Rockies 9 and the Braves 3. Jake McGee is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Adani Echevarria will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Adani Echevarria. And there's ball two now. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ranging back is Dahl. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Three runs, six hits, and two errors thus far for the Braves in the ball game. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Here's a 
shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. Ozzie Albies with a solo homer. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As they try to claw back, it's a five run deficit. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Dero. The hitter's on point, and the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. In now, Nick Markakis. Murphy has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One for the Braves in the inning, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Rockies nine and the Braves four. Grant Dayton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Grant Dayton. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Belted high in the air out to left. Back goes Ozuna to the track, to the wall, into the bleachers, and gone. A solo shot here to left, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game, if this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. to the plate now Charlie Blackman one and two now as that's in there at the knees a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen here he comes on a ball and two strikes to two balls and two strikes now Two two fouled away. Another try at two two and a change up swung on and missed for the first down. Now at the plate David Dahl he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One out, nobody on. Swung on and missed. One and two now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. At the plate now, Trevor Story. In there, one and two now. A nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. The one-two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three.
Rocky strike for one on the homer by Arenado. We'll march on to the eighth, and this is now a 10-4 ball game. New inning set to get underway, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now the one and one pitch. Ball. Two one. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now the three and two pitch hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Up next for Atlanta. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Four runs, seven hits, and two errors thus far for the Braves in the ball game. Hot shot to third and just passed his outstretched glove into left a base hit. And I mean obviously this guy is built to play in the daytime. Four for four. You know he's seeing it good right now. These are the days that you remember for a long time. Standing in now Marcelo Zuna fouled off. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the run is Dahl. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now with the play, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. A runner on first with two away. Soft liner to the right side, and no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. Brave strand one, and that's not what they needed down 10 to 4. Your Luke Jackson please. enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right Number where it is. Luke Jackson. Riding in, Garrett Hampson. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage. The number three. Yeah. Stepping in now, Dom Nunez. And it's fouled away. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. The next one two pitch. 
Smoke toward the hole. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Josh Fuentes will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Runners on first with one down. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Rymel Tapia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Two out with the man at first. Ball four. The first baseman, number nine. Daniel. Ready once again, Daniel Murphy. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Lifted down the line in left. Ozuna on the run. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Striding in for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Ozuna. He's got it. A great running play and that'll retire the side couple of hits lead to one in the inning for Colorado ninth inning coming up it's the Rockies 11 and the Braves four Your Wade Davis please. comes on from now the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top Number of the ninth. So here's Johan Camargo starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Now the two one. Full count, three and two. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting, shortstop, Dan B. Swanson. Now at the plate, Dan's B. Swanson, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame.
three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Now batting, the pitcher. Luke Tyler Flowers will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 25, Tyler Flowers. None out, runners at first and second. Popped him up. Arenado over to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. First and second now, one man out. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dahl is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So the Braves down to their final out now. And standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. Lofted in the air out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the second run will score as well. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Lincoln Brian Bennett. Shaw gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Number 29, Ryan. Final strike for the Braves. This is on the ground over to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And a relay home. And not in time as the run scores. Now that the center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Misses. Ball two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Three runs already home here. And he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon and 11 to 7 final in this one the Colorado Rockies hosted a three run first to propel them to the win Kyle Freeland earns win number seven on the season Felix Hernandez couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com The final line score for the ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies, 11 runs, 10 hits, no error. They left five men on base. For Atlanta, seven runs on 10 hits, two errors. They left seven men on base.
time of the ball game. Four hours exactly. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.